Hi and welcome to Scott's Inverts. I'm Scott, these are the inverts and not only do I love tarantulas, I also love scorpions. We do keep several species right here at Scott's Inverts. We have got several pairs that are all paired together in, in the hopes of creating baby scorpions in the future. And today we're going to set up a tank that's going to be dedicated to a male and female to hopefully reproduce in that tank there's some extra little bits that you've got to be thinking about that you've got to include in that tank in order for those guys to come together and actually get their courtship on and then go on to produce those spiderlings when you notice that female is pregnant or gravid I should say when she starts getting fat and you see those little black dots on the side that's when you have to take the male out because she will end up killing him so just bear that in mind but let's get in to today's build and I'm going to show you what we're going to do for our cave claw scorpions. This build will cover any of your scorpions that like it moist, damp. So all those heterometrous Asian forest scorpions. So let's have a look at the build. So this is our 30 by 30 tank with roughly around inches of substrate. That is topsoil. There's also springtails gone in there. We've got a very small thin drainage layer down the bottom which is covered by a net. Now this is normally what we'd use as a water dish, but we need to turn it upside down and we're going to place it right over there in the corner and cover it with a hide. Now this is where the male is going to drop his sperm packet and pull the female over it in order so that she can pick it up and then hopefully become gravid in the long run. So that's one of the key things that we need to do with this enclosure is give them a flat surface somewhere for the male to drop that sperm packet. So he can pull the female over it and hopefully she will get gravid. Now we're going to put a nice little hide in here as well. So that one's hopefully going to house both of them. They will live communal um, until she becomes gravid. And then when she becomes gravid, it is crucial we remove the male in order to save his life. We are also going to put some hardwood bark in there. So what this does is create options so that if the male wants to he can go under there or the female can go under there. It's real tight down to the floor because the scorpions do like it almost claustrophobic so they do like to feel tight and compact in those crevices. So we're going to put a couple of those in, a little one down the side. Now that soil that you can see is also overly moist, overly damp and that's because out in the forest where these guys come from it is really really high humidity and that's why we're also going for the moss because the moss in an enclosure will increase humidity it will hold that water and again slowly release it out through the day now luckily this moss was actually collected in the rain and then i left it in water for about about three four hours and then all we've done is just squeezed it out and brought it out and straight into this enclosure and I always say this as well, the high green mosses like you see in this one, once we've finished it really does make those enclosures pop. And we're just literally going to put it down now, like the, like, like the hide's got a bit, of a, a bit of a front lawn going on. And bear in mind when the female is gravid it can take her a long 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 time, we're looking at like 6 to 9 months, some species is up to a year before you'll see those scorplings come out and sit on her back and that is right you did hear me correct the scorpions will actually come and sit on the back of mother and they'll be there until their first molt and then they come come off mom and start roaming around the enclosure by themselves it is really really common though for the female to actually eat her young and you can only be left with maybe one or two if any scorplings um, nobody really knows reasons to why they do that there's going to be food present all the way along with, with my girl and my, and my male in here. So hopefully, if she gets gravid, if we have those scorplings, she won't end up eating them. Now, you do now, looking at that enclosure, do you see what I mean about that moss? That high green moss really does make it pop. Now, we've got another stone just here, and I'm going to put it right in that centre. And again, I'm going to call this the ritual mating stone. So, fingers crossed, the male will drop a sperm packet onto the ritual mating stone in the middle there and hold the female by her claws, pull her over it, and as, she, as it's, she's pulled over it, she will hopefully pick up that sperm packet. And the all important, all important water bowl, scorpions do enjoy a drink. It's very, very important with humidity 
and, and water that we keep both in these enclosures because the Vitaris, the Cave Claude Scorpion and all your Heterometrus are absolute water dependent, they are moisture dependent, so they need their enclosures to be nice and damp and access to that fresh water as well. What we also need to do is give that moss a real good drenching. If you give that moss a really, real good drenching, it really does help to start it off, get its roots to hopefully start to go down into the soil. But what I've found is if you give it an overly wet, if you like, get it overly wet, um, it does seem to help the enclosure. It does really seem to take off as well and start to root itself. Um, in fact, this type of moss that you're looking at now is a form of sphagnum and it actually grows. Its roots go into the soil, but then it, the roots also act as a stilt. So it's like the main body of the moss is a good centimetre, centimetre and a half off the floor. So now we're going to put the female into the enclosure. If she'll, if she'll come out the catch cup. I mean, that is pure smooth plastic ca catch cup. How she's managed to grip on the inside, I have no idea. These guys will climb up the sides of trees, uh, interestingly enough. And this girl just wants to get back out again. My word, we'll give her a gentle push in and she's in. And looking around, here's the male. We'll get that one in as well. Absolutely awesome. They're both in. He's gone straight into the hide. Maybe he's hoping she'll go in the hide pretty soon. And his luck will be in. But just look how beautiful this scorpion is. That, that redness to the claws as well, because they're also known as the red cave claws scorpion, as well as just being the cave claw scorpion. Really exploring the place. Just look absolutely beautiful. Had a little dip of a tail in the water then, did you see that? But now she knows that water's there, so she knows she'll be out of a drink of it pretty soon. Just look at this girl, stunningly beautiful. Nice little close up. And again, that is the enclosure completely finished. Boom, so fingers crossed, legs crossed, everything crossed. Those two guys get it on and we end up with some scorplings probably towards the beginning to April, May of next year. Fingers crossed, we get it on. Um, if you keep scorp scorpions, let me know down in those comments. Let me know which ones you, you like. And also, let me know if there's a scorpion care video that you want me to, 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 to do for you guys. Let me know down in those comments, and I'll see what I can do. Um, we've done a care video that covers all of the Asian forest scorpions, all in that one video. And we've also done a how to sex a scorpion video as well. So I'm going to link the how to care for your scorpions at the end of this video. So if you're interested in that, we can check that out as well. This Sunday is BTS. My word, I am absolutely buzzing. I'm not going to sleep on Friday night, Saturday night. In fact, Saturday night, um, I think I'm meeting Tim uh, Baxter. We're going to go out and probably go and have a chat, coffee and all the rest of it. Sunday night, Happy Ant is, uh, we're going out for dinner with Happy Ant. Through the day, Sunday day, I just can't wait. It feels like an absolute lifetime since the last one. Uh, C's is the second biggest one of the year and that was absolutely amazing. BTS is the biggest one of the year and by far the best and I'm really really looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to have stickers with me, there's going to be Scott's Invert stickers on the Spa Spiders table as well so if you can't find me head over to Spa Spiders, go say hello to Luke and say I want a Scott's Invert sticker and he'll sort you out over there as well. If you're not subscribed remember to hit that subscription, get your notification bell on. Once we hit four and a half thousand subscribers, we're going to do a little cheeky UK giveaway as well. It's sponsored. Um, a company has come forward and offered to sponsor a competition with a hundred pound mystery box, which is going to be spiders again, which is absolutely awesome. So get sharing and all the rest of it. Really do appreciate you guys' times. I really, really do appreciate the fact that you take your time out of your day to watch these videos. Thank you so, so much. And as always, we shall. See you again on the next one.